the first myth that I see prevents us from having peace of mind is the myth that thinking is useful. When I talk to uh, respective clients, um, I often ask this question, I ask, if I offered you a magic pill, and if you take this magic pill, you'd never think again about anything, would you take it? And it's interesting that 99.99% of people with some clients respond and say no. They wish they could maybe have less thinking or have more positive thinking or change the profile of their thinking in some way. But the bottom line is they think their thinking is useful to make the right decisions, to be safe, to be happy, to be wise as like a, a, a guidance mechanism to life. But then we start talking about moments of happiness and flow in their lives, the times when we feel most content. And if you think about those days where you have that sense of flow in your life, the days where you feel like you're on fire, you're going about your day, you're at work, and you're just performing really high performance, you're just on fire, and it feels effortless, you feel content, you feel happy, you're just, yeah, you're just on fire that day. What are you consciously thinking in that state? Or what have you consciously thought to get into that state? When I ask that question, people tend to go a bit quiet because they can't often find the answer because, because the truth is, it's a non-thinking state. A state of flow, it's a non-thinking state. It's like sports people call it the zone. When they're in the zone, they're just, just performing at the highest level. And when we're in that state of flow, we're still making decisions. We're still operating in life. We're still yeah, making decisions and, and, and doing things. We're still being guided by something. But we're being guided by a different guidance mechanism. We're being guided by our instinct, our intuition. You see, there are two guidance mechanisms within us. One is our thinking. The other is our instinct, our intuition. But there's often a still soft flute playing in the background and our thinking can be this brass in our head. But thinking is always based on fear, which we'll come on to. And it's, it's about the past and the future. It's never about being grounded to this present moment. Thinking clutters our mind and we don't see situations as perspective and clarity. When we're present, when we have a quiet mind, that's when we see things with greater clarity and perspective. When you, when you get the best answers to problems, your solutions to problems, the best creative ideas, it's often when you're in the shower or walking the dog it's, or driving, it's not actually when we're consciously thinking about the problem. I know someone who works with uh, large corporations sharing this understanding and he was with one company and was an engineering company and they had a problem that come in while he was with them from one of their customers and typically the engineering department would stay as long as it takes to get the solution to, to their customer to their client and it came to about five o'clock and they're still working on it and my friend encouraged them just to go home and encouraged the engineering director just to send the team home and to trust him and sure enough the next morning they came together and they'd all had inspiration ideas while they're away from work and with a very short time being together, they got the solution, which was, which was a much simpler solution, often cheaper than previous solutions, and with greater ease and well-being than having stayed all night to get to maybe the same place with less ease and well-being, or maybe even taken longer or may not have been such a, an elegant solution. So the best guidance mechanism we have is our inspiration, our instincts, our intuition, that in fact includes our life experience, our knowledge, our intellect. We don't make whimsical decisions, we trust our instinct, we make wise decisions. If you had to imagine two firefighters going to a burning building, and a burning building is on a place you've got time to think, you've got to act on instinct. If one of them has been in the service for 10 years, the other is his first day on the job, who's more likely to come out alive? I would imagine it's the guy with 10 years experience because his instinct includes his knowledge about fires, his experience over the years. So I believe thinking isn't useful to make decisions as a guidance mechanism. 
thinking is useful when it creates our, our human experience, which I'll come on to. Thinking creates everything about our experience in life. But thinking also creates an illusion of reality that's not actually true, so we're not seeing things with perspective and clarity. So the first myth, I think, is that thinking is useful. And as you go through the others, you begin to unpack that a little bit more about other aspects of thinking that mean it points towards the fact it not being useful. 